I'm your host, Ashley Clyde, reporting for Kids First. Joining me today is young prodigy and actress Jojo Regina. You may have seen her in the series The Chosen and as little Kaya in the newest blockbuster film, Where the Crawdads Sing. Welcome to the show, Jojo. Hi, it's so great to be here. (laughs) Hi. So, Jojo, you know, as a young actress, I think it's really cool because not only are we going to like ev- all the young kids are going to grow up to see you, you know, mature within this film industry, which I think is really great. So do you have any like future plans or projects that you really want to pursue in this film industry? Well, yes, actually, I have booked my next movie. Um, it's another feature film. And I will be playing uh, a lead role this time opposite another really amazing actress. And I cannot wait. Ooh, okay. You see, mystery just like this film. So um, I love this film. It takes us, exactly, it takes us through a whirlwind of mystery, um, murder, you know, things like of that nature. So what was your initial reaction to all the twists and turns and plot lines when you saw like the scripts? Like what was your initial reaction to all that? Oh my goodness, it was really amazing. Um, uh, I was really excited to get started because um, I read the book and like once I got the audition, I was just so excited because I heard that I was going to be driving a boat. So uh, that was a lot of fun too. (laughs) And everybody was just so nice. So I just couldn't wait to get started. And that, and that's awesome. So um, you mentioned that you read the book. So I definitely want to know in terms of how your character is written in the book and how it's portrayed on screen. Tell us a little bit about the differences you saw in the book and the similarities you saw in the film, such as that. Well, um, some of the similarities is I saw that, you know, Kaya turns from this little girl who's living in the marsh to growing up and, you know, living in the wild and teaching herself how to do things and, um, you know, getting her courage to go to school for the first time. Uh, uh, But it was like a three hour movie. So they had to cut down some of the script, but um, it's now two hours. Yeah. uh, (laughs) No, I don't know if I saw any more like differences. That's really interesting. Well, that's good to know. Now I actually really want to read the book. So um, also, I really want to know um, how often you had to correlate and communicate with Daisy Edgar Jones, um, who plays older Kaya. So how do you, how often do you, did you guys have to like communicate similarities and differences because essentially you guys play the same person, but just the younger version. Yeah. Well, um, first of all, I had super long hair at the time. I cut my hair because it was getting in the way of everything, but (laughs) she had to, get extensions to match my hair ah. and then um I had to be left-handed because Daisy was left-handed so um uh, we also learned how like to do our postures and how we walk and to match those kinds of things and it was it was so much fun well that's interesting I love the little details that you guys put in there to match each other and also yeah. You worked with a lot of really, you know, noticeable celebrities within this film, off screen and on screen. So I want to know how it was like working with Reef Witherspoon as one of the producers. I imagine that is like super cool. Yeah, she was one of the sweetest people I've ever met. (laughs) Um, First time I actually met her, we were in Video Village. And um, it was a super hot day, so they brought snowballs to set. There was no snowball fight, but <laughs> it was delicious. It was a nice little treat because in Louisiana, it is so mm-hmm. hot. It is, it is hot over there. It's blazing hot. And also, you mentioned a little fun. So yeah. what was your favorite fun scene throughout the entire film? You know, the film is really like, you know, really, how can I say this? 
it's very like a lot of substance in the film. So were there any like fun scenes that you like? What was your favorite scene or favorite thing that you did on set? Well, my favorite thing I did on set was learning how to drive a boat. Um, <laughs> I actually, before we started um, learning that, I had no idea how to drive a boat. I think I've only been on a boat <laughs> once and I was like four. <laughs> so um, to get that, it was a lot of fun. And I actually learned how to do two different kinds of docks. I learned how to tee dock, which is where you just go straight into it. Okay. And then the uh, finger dock, you go into it and then you have to turn. Oh, no, it's the other way around. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, but I'm learning something favorite... new. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think my favorite scene was with Garrett. Um, we got to do the boat together, and we got to go fishing together. And we got a huge fish, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really cool. <laughs> you know, like, a really cool correlation that I have um, with this interview is that I did interview Brooklyn Prince about her um, role as um, in a film called Home Before, uh, well, TV series called Home Before Dark, and she got to um, drive a boat too. I don't know what it is about them putting young people to drive boats, but you know what? I like it. <laughs> so my yeah. next question for you, <laughs> my next question for you is, you know, your role as little Kaya in this film is crucial to the development of the entire plot of this film. So how do you relate to your character, Kaya? Um, actually, we're similar in a lot of ways. Um, I, I love my family. Um, we love, I love out going outside. I love nature and I love to get dirty <laughs> and, <laughs> And after the movie, I love to drive a boat. <laughs> and we're both very hopeful and um, I think very adventurous and caring. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. And a question for you. I have to ask this now. Have you gotten to drive a boat after the conclusion of this film? No, sadly, no. But I was. <laughs> A boat when we went to the aquarium like a couple of days ago so that was fun <laughs> how cool is it to say yeah you know I drive I drive a boat I know how to drive one that's awesome and then <laughs> also um I want to know also um Delia De excuse me Owens the author of Where the Crawdads Sing how often did you have to um sorry how often did you guys have to um talk with her Well, the first day I met her, I think um, it was a beach scene and I got a Polaroid with her and I was trying to get Polaroids with everybody. So I hang them up on my walls. But um, but she was really nice and she was just really super duper sweet. And I just had so much fun with her. Well, that's really cool. And I also want to know who is your favorite person to you know, interact with on set? That's hard. I don't think I have <laughs> one. Everyone is so nice. <laughs> um, I, I don't have one. I don't know how to choose between all those amazing people. But um, I loved Livy and Delia and Daisy and Reese and Garrett and just everybody was so nice. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. And when you were seeing the screening, like the premiere of this film, and you were sitting next to all of your peers and you're sitting next to all these actors and actresses, how was that moment for you? I know it had to be like so surreal. Yeah, it was really amazing. I saw it was like this theater was a huge and it was all full of people um, <laughs> and I love <laughs> and um, I got to sit next to Daisy and everybody and we had just we just had so much and and I love this film so much and I think 
it when I watched it for the first time so first I watched it online and then I watched it in person when I tell you the experience is so much better in the movie theater even though it's coming out soon on digital and dvd it is <laughs> it's so much better in person I just love it in person and I think that would be yeah. the conclusion of our questions but thank you so much for joining me Jojo Thank you so much. Well, thank you to Jojo Regina for joining us today. Where the Crawdads Sing is out now in theaters. Please watch it and will be available on digital September 6th and on DVD and Blu-ray September 13th. I'm Ashley Clyde reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like, subscribe, and stay up to date with interviews just like this one right here on our channel. Bye. <laughs>